Hey everybody, Smoot, coming at you from the backyard. Um, I have to apologize to everybody, I haven't got a lot of videos up lately. Um, just, i kind of been slacking. Uh, I've got no real reason for it. Just haven't really got around to uh, throwing any videos up. I've uh, been on holidays for the last couple of weeks. Uh, jumped on the Harley, went down to Sturgis. That was incredible. Uh, 3,800, almost, no, 3,900 kilometer round trip. I went down through North Dakota, South Dakota, Sturgis. Hung out there for a couple of days and come up through uh, Yellowstone. And then up through uh, Butte, Montana and all that. Kind of coming back up and home. So I don't really have any video on that neither. My camera took beautiful pictures, but I couldn't get the video part to work. Uh, this camera here, I've been having problems with the memory cards. I think it's time that maybe Smoot goes by Smoot camera. Anyways, uh, today I've got an old lawnmower here. Um, it's the beater lawnmower, the one that I use for uh, getting in and around out in the backyard, out in the back alley and under the trees, you know, the beater one. And it's quit running. Um, it's nothing serious. It's a very easy fix, but uh, I've actually repaired lawnmowers for quite a few people that had the same problem. And I thought I'd just show you. It's just a simple fix. Uh, my lawnmowers sit outside all the time. I never park them in the garage. It's just, well, <laughs> my garage, if it rains outside for 10, it rains inside for 20. It's The garage should be bulldozed over, but that'll be a completely new video. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this lawnmower over and I'll show you what it's doing. And I'll get rid of that mosquito. And I'll show you what it's doing and then I will uh, show you step by step on how to repair it. And uh, it's one of the easiest fixes on a lawnmower. So anyways, hang tough and I'll go get the lawnmower. Okay, here it is. It's a 3.5 horsepower Tecumseh engine on a Craftsman 21 inch mower. Um, I don't even know if there is, it's the right motor for the, the body but anyways what I'm going to do here is I'll try to fire it up. As you can see I got to run the lawnmower around here. But I'll uh, try firing it up so you see what it's doing and then we'll repair it and see if we can get it to run. Okay just a second. Okay, like I said, this thing's been sitting outside all summer. I bought a brand new one, so I haven't really had this need for this, but I got some grass I gotta cut. But it's got no choke on it, it's just got your little primer ball. You give it a prime, and that's all it'll do. Now it's got lots of gas in it. And that's the best I can get it to run. Now, like I said, it's an easy fix. Um, what happens is it just, it's been sitting outside and it's got a little bit of shit in the bowl. So I will grab a wrench and I will show you the, the easy fix on this thing. And we'll see if we can get it running. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here, pick this up. See if I can bring you over there so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, on the bottom, there's your primer bulb. On the bottom there, there's just a little the bowl. And then there's a little kind of a nut on the bottom of that thing. And it's got a jet in it. What happens is you get a drop of water or something, land in there, and it won't run. Now you don't got to pull that bowl right off there. But as you can see, or maybe you can see, there's just a tiny little jet in there, jet hole. So, <laughs> something was in there. Okay, I, now all I did was blow through it, just blow the shit and corruption out of there. Now I'm just going to stick it back in there, and we'll give her a go. See how that, if it does any good. Uh, 
There we go. Now you don't want to over tighten that. It's just a brass screw. So you just want to get it a little snug. And that's about it. So hopefully uh, this works. Set you down there. Where are you at here? Guess we just needed to get a little gas back to into that bowl. But yeah, that's uh, that's how easy it is to fix them. I've had a couple of them come in here recently, and people were just they were just about to throw them away because they couldn't get them to run. That's all you do to them, and off they go. Now this one here, I've done that twice this year because. Like I said, none of my lawnmowers go inside. They always sit outside. So it gets a couple drops of water or something in there. Humidity, whatever. I don't know how it gets in there, but it gets in there. And the water will sit just on top of that little hole. And won't let the gas go through and it won't run. It'll fire, but it will not run. But anyways, I'm going to go try to post this. Then I'm going to go cut some grass. Anyways, hope that helped you out. Smooth out.